Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Shanghai Twenty at YouTube.com. Um, I was taking a look on the Jimquisition. I'm a fan of his. Um, and um, he was previewing this game, a prototype for the game Indivisible. Now, let me put it this way: this game is absolutely ridiculous. From the people at Lab Zero, the same dudes who made one of my favorite games, Skullgirls, one of my favorite fighting games of all time, Skullgirls. If you guys um, look back in like some of my various earliest videos, maybe two years ago, almost three years ago, I was talking huge about Skullgirls, and this is uh, I w is is a a game um, made by their company and another one. I'm I'm remiss to tell you. Um, in this video on the bottom, I will send a link to their Kickstarter. It's a game that's on Kickstarter right now. Um, they're looking for I think a million. A million four, but um, I mean, let me put it to you this way, guys. This game is one of those games that when you see it, it's you. If you can't see it right now, it's visually gorgeous. The animation definitely comes from a Skullgirls type creation. Now, for me, I sat, I, I sat and beat the the prototype for a little bit. Like you can jump past the enemies. or you can get into this kind of fighting style. Now, when you um. This is what um, what I had to learn earlier on. If you see this bottom grid over here, um, it's a uh, like a grid that uh, kind of adds in um, like when you get more characters, it'll add in more of those um, characters to the game. Like uh, if you want to take a look at uh, my controller here, um, uh, right now, let's see, it's backwards in my hand, so. Fighting with her is this button. If you see, it correlates with the with the positioning on the buttons at the bottom. Now, um, when you get more and more people, it'll add. Um, that's how you control those people. So let's say, like, we'll get. I'll get to that point, and we'll get. I'll show you. Um, let's see. Uh, also, in um, if you hold the your attack button in different directions. You'll do different attacks. So, uh, color screen. Also, the block. You have to, like, also the same button you use to attack is the button you use to block. So, when it, when you, what you call it. Now, if, if you see the gauge at the top, that is, like, your gauge to see, like, your blocks. So, like, if you don't have any gauge, you can't block. But also, when you block, you lose the gauge. The gauge, um, also, like, if you, if you didn't read on the screen, any leftover gauge goes to your life. So it's a it's a cool system, and even later on, that's how your specials work. So I mean, the game is awesome. There's roll running like that. Um, we'll get into it more as we get more characters. <laughs> ah, shoot! I love. I love the art style. I love the system because it's a it's a very reactive system. Like you can't just sit back and press a button and eat a sandwich while doing it, which makes me love it even more. Also, the combinations of just the kind of stuff you can do is awesome. Like I love doing being able to do all scented moves. Like and that's the thing with this game. Like I'm gonna let if you see the gauge at the bottom, it's two segments. I can just do one. I don't have to attack again. Or I can attack at a different time. So I just got Zabi on my team, the archer. So now I have two people, and like I said before, um, the um, the uh, the buttons are really gonna come into effect in this, and that's what makes the game pretty unique. Um, if I wanted to, oh snap! If I wanted to right now, I could just do the um, ah fuck it, we'll go down here. Like, see, now we got two people. Now, if you guys can't tell, like I said before, um, the, the buttons are correlated to who I'm playing as. So, for um, for B3, it's the uh, Y button on my Xbox controller. So, now, just controlling him is is Y. And just controlling um, my character is, uh, is B. Now, that doesn't apply to, like, outside. Like, see, if outside I can hit with the X button because you can do stuff like um, attack the villain, the attack the monsters before the game starts to actually kill them. 
like I'm just too slow to do it but um you can definitely switch targets you can press left or right anytime while you're not attacking alright cool um but yeah this game is really awesome and I would suggest everyone go out and kinda uh, give it a shot. See, as you can see, like it leads to a lot of cool combos, setups, and scenarios. Um, like, uh, also, like to block, you gotta see now. Let's let's try a combo. Her zombie. Well, I'm also trying to figure out how the um. Let's see. Oh, that's another. Ugh. That's another heal. Okay. Oof. And I've also noticed there's like fall damage. If you fall off the map, like you can get like knocked off the map, and then you're no longer in the fight. Think of like fighting the emerald, the ruby weapon in Final Fantasy VII. Like, if you don't, um, if you don't jump the, uh, if you don't. If you get knocked out by certain monsters, that's just it for you for that fight. Oh. And also, like if you can't tell, like your the the monsters can also hit you at the same time. So the blocking is incredibly important in this game. Um, combinations also can do a a lot of good for you in this. So like Zabi. Mm. Mm. I guess that's like a double hitting attack. Mm. With the la at least one level of Ida meter and action available. Hold the R1. Yeah, so like this is another thing that I had a hard time understanding. Like I told you before, um, this, uh, this button let's say like I said uh, Zabi the archer is to the Y button you have to hold the um, the bumper hold the bumper down and then press Y while you have the top gauge is blinking um, to actually be able to do like a, a special attack for each character so um, we'll try it with Zabi uh, oh shoot I just used this hmm I love the visceralness of the actual moves. It's pretty cool. So we're holding the we'll hold the button. See in his attack he does uh like hmm, hmm. let's see if we can't do Zabi's air move. Actually Ah shoot. We're gonna need to heal with Aja Agent or I I'm sorry, I can't pronounce her name. There we go. Nice. Alright, guys. Like I said, this game leads for a lot of potential. Um, like I said, I will be leaving the Kickstarter um, the Kickstarter page on here so you can get the link to try to, um, to donate to something like this. Fantastic. I'm a lover of RPGs and I'm also a lover of innovative battle systems in RPGs. It means the world to me when somebody can figure out a new way of doing the same thing. And it's awesome. Oof. And see, like, that's that's what this game leads into. You can do a lot of, like, double team attacks. Whoa! Like, if you've seen there, I did the kick up. And he jumped up and hit him with the arrows. It's that's ultra cool if you ask me, really. And like I said, you can just jump over the enemies. You don't have to fight them, or like. Mm. And like I said, you can stutter the attacks, which I find to be like incredibly cool. Stuttering the attacks letting you, letting you do so. And if you didn't just notice that, you can miss. Which like blew my mind because Ooh, show you how it's done, youngins. Let you show you how it's done, youngins. Um, like there's a lot of there's a lot of personality pouring out of this game. 
and I personally love it. Like, it's ultra cool. And like I said before, the, um, if you don't, if you can't tell now, like, the way my characters are positioned in this match determines where they are. So now, um, our main character is in the, of uh, playing off B, not, um, and not, what you call it, see, like, uh, why am I saying it so weird? Um, your positioning and where you're positioned to fight a monster is where you, ooh, alright, and I got an axe, um, that's another thing, you see here, um, we have the map on one side, almost like a Castlevania style grid, or a, me a Metroid, if you play Metroid, it's like that, you can see the glowing box is where I am right now, um, she, uh, apparently, you can switch between the axe and the hands, hands, like I said, you got that, axe, you actually use the axe to fight, and I've noticed that you can do things like, uh, oof, see, like, that kind of shit is just, it's just too cool for me, that is, like, ultimate, what I've been, and see, that's also, like I said before, individual characters now, you gotta remember to block for them, so, like, when I block, like when they arm when they aim for Zobby the archer, I have to hold the Y button. When they aim for the other dude, I have to hold the A button to block for him. So like it's <coughs> excuse me. It's um it's pretty crazy because the fact of the matter is you can hold the L1 button or the, the back trigger in the Xbox controller to literally um to literally have all of them block, but like I said before, the block takes away from your special gauge, and you'll want your special gauge to do certain things or um, to block, and like you can't block all the time because you got the special gauge. And like I said, I mean, you can treat this as a traditional RPG and go one at a time, but I mean, I like to do combo type situations. Now, like I said, if you take a look at this gauge when I block with all of the characters, it's gonna, look, you see how much damage you take away? Because it's not about the hit, it's literally about the, it's literally about the amount of time you hold the block button. So, it almost gives you an advantage to try to block early. Now, if you can't tell when I got the axe, I can literally do this. And it's a it's a travel it's a it's a travel mechanic. Like it'll let you get to different um, sections of the map. So, ooh, nice. And I'm just trying to explore it a little bit, play the game a little more, cause this game is like really fantastic. I'm having I had a blast playing it the first time, and I'm having a blast playing it now. Really, it's. It's really just fun to play. Like, just doing the combos is really unique, fun. A lot of people say it reminds them of Valkyrie stories. I've never played Valkyrie. I heard it was a really good game. Hmm. Razum of uh, what is it, Shamanist? She's pretty cool. I like her art design too. But then again, like this whole this whole game like oozes with art design and beauty right now. I'm not gonna tell. I, I'm not gonna say it. it's even the um, music. I really like. I, I appreciate it. And when you get the axe, it really makes you feel like you got you should go explore every every nook and cranny of this environment because it not to mention that the environments are just beautiful but with the axe letting you do a lot of things i'm pretty sure you can backtrack in this game just because the, they wouldn't show you a map if you couldn't but take a look at this like see like you don't even have to fight like when you have an, a weapon like child she has the axe you can literally you can literally just kill them before they you can get into a fight. Yeah. 
So, I mean, like, there's a lot of things in play in this game. They only let you play a short amount of time. Uh, like, now we have four people, so now you can kind of see the, the impact of having a system with this many people in it and controlled by one button. <laughs> And that also leads to like the the uh, just you gotta remember the buttons you're on. Oh shoot! You gotta remember the buttons you're on and just kind of you know I mean who's there so you can you can like defend properly. And as you can see, like that initial hit. Oof. Like and I'm doing it I'm doing it kinda stuttered so you can kinda tell can see the animation. Cause you can tell these guys did a lot of hard work on the animation. But I mean when you have all of them lined up like this, you can do stuff like let's see. Eesh. Like, I mean I, I can't speak enough about the art design and just the, the game mechanics. It this is literally the kind of games like I've been I've been waiting for really, man. There's a lot of games right now that steal formulas from others where this one comes up with a completely new IP and this is and this is what I'm talking about when it comes to games right, uh, about now in this in this generation. You don't need to keep doing the same things over and over again. When you have fre when people have fresh ideas, a lot of times no one gets to see them and that's really why I'm doing this video. I mean, there's a lot of other great reviewers and people and internet personalities and YouTube personalities that talked about this game. Like I said, Jim Position did a really good job on it. Um, Jim Sterling. Um, but I just felt like I wanted to do it too, cause like if you go to the to the um, the site or the um, Kickstarter that I I will leave the description in the below uh, or the link below. Um, it's a, they let you play the prototype for free. So I mean, as soon as I heard that, I went to go get it, cause I wanted to play it for myself. I wanted to see. And I mean, here comes the one of those beautiful set pieces that they were talking about. Take a look at that. That's like gorgeous right there. Take a look. It's like watercolor. And I mean, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. I guess all this is to chase this little anteater guy around. But let's give it a shot. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, the game itself plays like this. Like, you can't. You, you can't help but win, you know what I mean? This is a win-win for me. Let's see. Let's see if we can't do a combo. We're gonna go up. That's so gangster to me, man. I'm not gonna lie. That's so gangster to me. It reminds me of Star Ocean. Ah, uh, let's try his ulti. Woo! That takes a lot of damage. Oh, now she can hit three times. <clears throat> Yeah, and like I said, you can hold. But see, you don't want to hold the block buttons too long because that's when you start to lose more and more gauges. So you want to make sure you're in a way that you can block and then move right on so you don't lose too much. Uh... I love this fucking fighting system, man. This is so cool. So, 
and and also like you just saw there, you can as well do um like a super into uh the combos as well. So you can put out major output in this game. I um, mean, in terms of damage, that it's like breathtaking to look at. So, ah, like I said, you always want to make sure you know who the heck is trying to attack you. They hit hard as hell. Like I said, you gotta make sure you you're you're paying attention. Cause see, they can attack the same point where you can. Her ulti heals, so she's an incredibly important person. Like I I I like this game a lot. And if I I would encourage everyone to donate what they can. I mean, I'm not a rich man. Everyone out there isn't, you know, raking in though. But this game this game deserves to be made. I think so. I think it's definitely oh shoot. Definitely worth the time. And like um, the more uh, gauge you have, the, the the better your super is. Even that, like, if I was good enough, you can do individual attacks, like. Like, uh, if, like, he individually attacks, like, one of my people, like, I can literally just block one and not all of them. But it's kind of hard to... It's kind of hard to do that. I'm going to save this gauge. That's what... Hmm. That's what I'm talking about, like, the, just the possibilities of combinations. Um, also, I mean, they, I'm not giving anything away, because that's the thing. I, I could be explaining more about the game to you guys, but I feel that the game itself and everything about the, the Kickstarter, you should go and take a look at and read. They have a backstory for the protagonist and stuff like that. I think all of that is truly worthy of reading, just so you can understand what's going on in the game and like you know get get a feel for it for me an rpg is is mostly about this kind of stuff the fighting but it's also about the story and the world if you can't if you can't tell me about the world why i should care about these people or like what's going on like then you've lost me halfway and I mean, this game has, like I said, so much personality. Jeez, they really don't like him. Uh, and like I said, I mean, just the. When a fighting system can literally keep you engaged, where it's an RPG, per se. Because, I mean, I love RPGs. My favorite RPGs, without a doubt, Final Fantasy VII, 
Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, Dragon, uh, not Dragon Seeds, uh, though Dragon Seeds was an awesome game, um, uh, Dragon Souls? Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot it. Um, I'll put it, I'll put it, a li uh, the name of it in the description below, but, um, I'm, I'm just a lover of RPGs. I, I've played pl uh, like a lot in my time, and a system is one part of the game. If you don't care about the story or the characters in it, then it's not going to matter anymore. Because Star Ocean was a, a fantastic game, but I couldn't really tell you the the ins and outs of the story or any of that stuff. And I love that her attacks are like fire hats. See, and like I said, he missed. It's not like you can, it's a guaranteed hit every time. Is it me or does the villains look like, I don't know, like a rice ball with like, I don't know, chopsticks hanging out on it? Check this out. Check this out. See, like, um, her down attack, uh, think of it like Naruto. If you guys ever played Naruto, um, the up, down, left, right. Um, determines the kind of attack you do. If you notice, I'm doing straightforward attacks. That's forward. When I press up Wasabi, he does that. I don't know. When he down, he does that. It's like a multi-tiered attack. Down is that for him. Um, up for uh, that's that's up. Uh, that's forward. So like, I mean, it it really gives you like a lot to think about in terms of just what you're trying to do. Damn. That's an up. But you also, they also give the opponent a chance to do something, so. Ah. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh. Let's see. Heal. Darn it. She's got like the raven attitude. So yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna play this out, but guys, I would definitely encourage everyone to go um, seek this out yourself. Um, like I said, I have the, I'll put the uh, information at the in the link below, uh, and you should definitely, definitely, without a doubt. Give this game a, a, a look, a play. <sighs> See, look at that. I, I, all those hits, I fucking damn near lessened the battle in half. Now, I don't know about experience. Like, I've been looking through this game just to figure out how you level up or to determine how fast your uh, gauge is to start your attacks. I just don't know. Um... Um, oh. Like, sometimes they move fast, sometimes they move slow. That's a stun. I mean, I don't know if you... Like, you don't show the gauge of your opponent, but if you could, like, somehow stun them. Mm, if you could somehow stun them before they got a chance to attack. I don't know if it resets their timer or it just slows them down for a little bit. But, let's see. There. 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 Now we're gonna try like to do a really heavy combo. Oh shoot! Oh, everyone's hurt. I gotta heal up. Oof. 
Blech. Dropped his lunch right there. Uh, I think we already went this way. Let's see. Yep, alright. We already went that way. I don't know, in games like this, um, I'm one of the people who, who's actually beat uh, Castlevania Symphony at night. Like, uh, 200%, which is like to beat... Ah! Which is like to beat the... The, uh... The game and then beat it while you're uh, you after you beat the game you have to beat the game uh, backwards. Jeez, and that gets pretty intense. I'm gonna try to shoot. We're gonna use um, the summoners to just heal us, so we're, I'm not gonna try to put her in any of the fights. Or at least to take her gauge. Because I want to. Uh, I'm here to save you, sorry, but that's nice. Mm -hmm. We gotta get rid of these guys. And I mean, I don't know. I technically shouldn't even be doing the uh, the multiple block because it's ruining my gauge. So, oh. We need to get rid of it. Ow. The Hag Raven. Keep everyone healed. Oh. Dang it. If you notice though, when she did that healing, her um segments don't come back as fast. So I'm wondering if the uh if the healing segments only heal back jeez. Uh, like I wonder if using your special does something about your healing gauge. We gotta get rid of these guys. Mm hmm. I love it. Oh. Shoot. And I like, I love her attack the enchantress. Oh my god. You gotta block up in this game. I love that combination. And like I said, I mean, do yourself a favor, go read the page in full. Ow. 
He's he hits hard as a brick. Ouch! Damn. Like, I love the way this system allows for so much diversity in fighting. Figure out what you want to do in terms of just mm, what's going on and what your special abilities allow you to do. And a, you only get a certain amount of time to block. If you miss that block, you're just not going to get another chance at it. And if you can tell, like, I mean, I would almost equate it to Final Fantasy 13's, uh, like, the system where you're trying to beef up your attacks to do more damage on the opponent. And it, it works just almost like that. Oh! Let's end this on a cool note. Uh, 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 uh. What is he blocking? That is so cool. And yeah, I mean, that's truly the end of the demo, really. When I run out of here, it's gonna be the end. Let's go, Rodi! Rodi. And yeah, that's... That's really individual, man. And like I said, I will... I will definitely support this game. Um, I love Lab Zero. They, I really appreciate the kind of games they put out and the attention to detail and the care. These are obviously gamers gamers and people who like love what they do. If you guys check out Skullgirls, you can you'll know automatically the the type of system it is, the kinds of abilities you have, the art style. It's it's unique in this day and age unfortunately. And I feel that it should get the get a lot of recognition. So that's why I put this out. I mean, I'm sure a multitude of other people could do it too, but I felt that it was necessary once I got a hold of the demo to talk about it with other people and to share it with other people. Please, guys, please, please, please go check it out. I'll, I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, just give what you can. I would love to see this game come out, and I would love to play a full game. And um, all of us together can definitely do it. So um, take care. Your boy Shanghai, uh, Shanghai.com. Uh, oh, Shanghai at Shanghai20 at YouTube.com. <laughs> I, I thought I got used to this enough to say it like that. But yeah, subscribe, like, and uh, I'll see you next time.